Hello and welcome into my attic. So today I have three spring projects for you. Uh, main protagonist being flowers. So here they are and hope you enjoy. So for my first DIY, I'll be uh, using these paper plates. Um, I bought them for eight um, plates in a pack for three euros and 50. And I've got to say that um, I've been seeing them in all the shops and they are just such a lovely quality, um, really sturdy and a beautiful colour, really smooth, very high end I would say. So I thought I'd buy some of these and make a project with them. So what I did was I took two of the plates and I glued them together with just wood glue or PVA glue to make them even more sturdier which created a really good base for um, my project. So I let the glue dry overnight and the next day I took my flowers, which are just plastic flowers, and I actually looked for the cheapest flowers I could buy. Um, and they was these small buds, um, yellow and like a lilac -y colour, and some sprigs of lavender. And they only cost me like 180 a bunch, something like that, very cheap and cheerful. And what I'm doing here is I'm just hot gluing them down onto the plate. What I'm actually trying to do is to stick the flowers down as flat as possible. Uh, not excessively flat down, but um, just not too much sticking out, if you know what I mean. So I had uh, done two plates, so I took four plates all together, stuck two together and then another two together. So once I stuck the flowers down on the first plate, I took the second plate and stuck more flowers down on that, but I chose different flowers for this, uh, uh, as you can see here. So uh, the flowers on the second plate were just flowers I already had in my stash. You know, they're just still the basic, normal flower, plastic flowers that you find in the shops. And also I did some fabric flowers here as well, the pink ones. Um, and I just uh, stuck them down in the same way as I did on the other plate, just as flat as I possibly could. I honestly don't think I've done something as pretty as this in a long time. I think it just looks really lovely for springtime. Okay, so this is where the magic is going to happen. I've concocted a mixture, which I brush onto the flowers and onto the plate. This concoction is simply made of PVA glue and cornstarch, with a little white paint and a little water added. I love using this mixture, it dries like chalk and it really gives a high quality feel and amalgamates everything together with a silky smooth texture. 
It reminds me of gesso or white wax, but it's a lot cheaper and it dries hard and fast and it's pretty unbeatable really. It takes the bright colours off of the flowers and it enhances the things that you want enhanced and it hides the defects that you want to hide. So yeah, this is a really good product if you don't want to spend money especially. There isn't really a precise recipe for this, it's just a couple of spoons of cornstarch, a couple of spoons of glue, a dab of paint and water to make it creamy. Just experiment until you like the result. You can see here the difference between the flowers on the left and the flowers on the right. Um, yeah, it just gives a really high end quality to your project and you know completely changes the looks of the flowers also you can dry this off with the hair dryer very very quickly just a minute and it's all dried up it's really great so to my projects here i gave a couple of coats um, drying in between so this is finished for the moment and look how gorgeous it looks now i'm going to do the same thing with the second one So on this plate I'm going to stick on a wooden butterfly and I'm going to just use uh, like wood glue or PVA glue for that and for my Spanish moss I'm going to stick it on with some hot glue. As you can see I also brushed it onto my Spanish moss just a little bit. So on the second plate I added Spanish moss like I did on the first plate and I also added a clay bird that I had in my stash. I printed off the words 21st of March which is normally associated with the beginning of spring. I used brown paper for that and then I simply cut it out and stuck it onto a small lolly stick. I stuck all of that then on a piece of old frayed rag and then I took some dark brown eyeshadow just to make it look a little bit more older. So to hang this up on the wall, um, obviously you can use anything you like. Uh, I just chose to use twine and I hot glued that onto the back. So my idea for this project was to hang the two plates up together, not singularly. Um, and so I chose this chain to uh, attach them both together. So for the chain, I added some uh, bicarbonate soda to some dark brown paint and I mixed it together. And then I gave a couple of coats to the chain, drying in between. And then I added some orange here and there mixed in to give it a rusty look. So to join my plates together, I worked out that uh, five pieces of the chain would be a good length to stick them together uh, to make them hang. So I did two pieces of the chain uh, with five links on each side. I also glued on a couple of pieces of the chain to the top of the plates near where the twine was stuck on just to make it look like it's stuck on by the chain. Yeah, so with this first project guys, uh, what I did try to obtain was a fresh spring-like feel and I think I managed to obtain that with this project here. Um, it really has a, a high-end feel to it, even though it's just made of, you know, basic paper plates. So yeah, this was a good one.
So for my second flowery DIY, I'm going to be making a trinket box out of a face cream container. So the first thing I'm going to do is roughen up the container. Uh, of course, you probably all know that um, a plastic container, you know, it needs to be roughened up before you can add paint to it. So that is what I am going to do now and I'm using 180 grit sandpaper. Now I've done that, I'm going to give it a good clean with some window cleaner um, to get away all the dust. So the first thing I did was I took some white paint, just acrylic paint, and I added a little coffee to my paint uh, to give it a nice beige colour. And I also added some cornstarch and a little bit of glue just to make it um, extra adhesive onto my container. So I painted the container and left it to dry. Um, and whilst that was drying, I made a clay for my flowers. So to make the clay, I just used two parts of bicarbonate soda, uh, one part cornstarch, and just enough water to make it a little runny or a little creamy. Um, and then I put it in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds on the highest heat, about 800 watts. When I took it out of the microwave, I used a spoon because it's very hot. Um, and then after that, I just kneaded the clay until it was nice and smooth. And then I also added a little drop of coffee just to give it a beige color like the container. So to make my flowers, this is the mould that I will be using. I want to give the lid of my um, trinket box a little dimension. So I'm going to stick on a wooden bead on the top and then I'm going to uh, mould my clay onto the bead. So using my mould, I'm going to proceed to make the flowers. I'm going to cover the whole lid of the trinket box and I'm going to stick all the flowers down using the wood glue. I find that I have big gaps between the flowers I'm just gonna roll up a little piece of clay like a bead and make a hole in it with a, a toothpick and just place it into the hole or the gap between the flowers
So here's the lid all covered up and finished. Um, my partner said it reminds him of a desert rose, uh, like the colouring, which is quite nice actually. So now we're just going to continue in the same way for the base. Um, but very stupidly, I ran out of clay and I had to make some more. And as you can notice here, um, I put too much coffee in into the clay, so it's much darker now. <laughs> so I have a, a two-tone jar. But um, I try, I did try to correct it with a, um, the paint. So you know, it did amalgamate in the end. Okay, so as the clay dried, it did become lighter. And then I did go over the whole thing with um, the beige paint I had originally. Um, so it does look much better now. So the last thing I'm going to be doing here now is just to uh, take some white paint and dry brush all over the lid and all over the base to amalgamate it even more. And here's my trinket box finished. So the third DIY is very country um, and it couldn't be easier. All you need for this is two pieces of cardboard cut to the same size. Once cut, you need to hot glue them together on the three sides, leaving the top open. So my next step was to apply the crackle medium where I wanted to crackle because I'm going to be painting this flower hanger. Um, you don't have to paint it because I did one of these and I didn't paint it at all and here's a photo of it. What I did was when I stuck the cardboard together, I printed out a dictionary definition of the word herb. Um, I printed it out on A4 brown paper and just stuck it on the front, um, mod podged it to the front and I put this rusty frame around it and I'll show you how to make that in a minute. So if you wanted to make one of these flower hangers and you wanted to paint it as well but you don't have a crackle medium then you don't need a crackle medium, you can just paint it normally or other than that you could just take a candle wax and rub it over the cardboard and paint, your, paint over it and then just when it's dry, just distress it with sandpaper. That's another good alternative. So I've learned with the crackle that I've got, and I think it's common with all crackle mediums, that when you apply the paint, you've got to apply it thickly. Um, I've tried it with thin paint and it looks horrible. Um, so yeah, you need a thick paint. I've put cornstarch in mine. If you don't have a thick paint, just add cornstarch to your paint and it, you know, until it comes nice and thick. And then also don't overwork um, the paintbrush. You know, you don't want to keep going over the same position. You need to just do it once and as thickly as possible and then try not to go over it again until you finish the whole piece. So because your paint is thick, that doesn't mean to say it mustn't glide smoothly over your work. You don't want it thick and lumpy like mud or anything like that. You know, just nice and creamy. That's the best consistency that you can obtain. Now with the crackle medium, you can paint it immediately and you'll get big cracks. That's what I did. Or if you want small cracks, then you can wait for it to dry and then paint it. I dried mine off with the hair dryer and then I applied a little coffee stain around the edges 
to give it a more of a vintage look. After that, I printed out a dictionary definition of the word flower because uh, that's appropriate for this um, DIY and then I just cut it to size. I then brushed on a little coffee wash to give it a vintage look. Then I mod podged it onto the flower hanger. Now for the decoration, I just cut some strips of cereal box and I dabbed on some brown paint mixed in with some bicarbonate soda to make it nice and gritty and then I mixed in a little bit of orange as well to give it a nice rusty look and I also um, painted some plastic studs as well. So I want to hang this with wire, but I've only got green wire. So I painted this as well with the rusty color paint. I glued down the strips of rusty cardboard and I placed them onto the edges of the white printout. And as you can see, they run to the edge of the cardboard. So of course this is something you can decorate any way you like uh, but because the dictionary definition was flower I glued on three uh, flowers which were made of clay but obviously they could be made of anything and I'll put a few leaves on as well. For the wire, I just pierced a couple of holes at the top, threaded it through and wound it round itself. I'm adding more coffee stain inside the rusty strips to give it a more natural, dirtying over time look. So at this point in the video, I added the rusty strips horizontally end to end on the cardboard, uh, but I didn't do it vertically. But in the end, I decided it would probably look better if I did them end to end vertically as well. So at the end of the video, you'll see that they are end to end vertically as well. So here we have the flower hanger finished and I'm just going to add some flowers. So hang around for the reveal. Okay guys, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed these three DIYs. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.